Welcome to the afternoon, Daddy. Feeding bunny rabbits, so. Yeah, we're gonna feed some bunny rabbits. We're uh -huh. here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, right here, uh, close to the beautiful Rocky Mountains. I don't know if you can see them over there. There's the outline of them. And we're at a hotel, and there's some bunny rabbits here. They're just sitting here, being really still, so we're gonna be really careful and approach them, okay? Let's go. They're just sitting there. They're right here, Bubba, look. See them? There's some bunny rabbits. Wow, those are so beautiful. They're so soft looking. Now be really gentle. Now why don't you try to walk up to them and hand them the carrot? Oh, I guess they're a little bit skittish, right? They don't know that we're just trying to feed them a carrot. They think that we could potentially be trying to hurt them, and that's very smart of them, because not all people would want to just feed the bunny rabbits carrots. Some people wouldn't necessarily be nice to the bunny rabbit. It's their instinct to run away whenever they're afraid, and that's okay because it keeps them alive. Now they don't know we're just trying to feed them some carrots. Mm -hmm. All right, hey. So let's see. Maybe if I walk really. Oh, there's another one. Look, there's three bunny rabbits. No, well, here, let's toss a carrot like that and see what they do. Look at that. They're hopping towards it. <laughs> He's looking at it. Oh, he didn't like, he was afraid of it. Maybe that one will eat it. You know, these carrots aren't like wild carrots that these rabbits eat. They may not be used to it. It might not be a food that they're really wanting to eat. See their tall ears? They have really good hearing. They can hear you from really far away. Oh, they're running away. See you later, bunny rabbits. Bye bye. Are they chasing each other? Maybe. Was that awesome or what? That was so cool. Have you ever been that close to a wild bunny rabbit? No. No. We've only seen bunny rabbits in like a petting zoo or a. We went yeah. to a farm the other day and there was a, a rabbit there. All right, we found a really awesome tunnel. You guys want to come see this tunnel with us? Come on. Let's walk down this ledge. Isn't this good balance practice? We're practicing our balance on this ledge. I'm going to hold your hand just in case. All right, okay. Can you jump from there? Let me see you jump. You're so scared? Well, you don't have to be afraid because you've jumped off of things that are even higher than that. But it's good to be cautious though. And don't fall. On. Yes, it's always good to be cautious. If you're not sure about what you're going to jump off of, then just don't jump at all. It's always the best way. Let's go under Unless you there. absolutely have to. Like wow. Look at this tunnel. You kids want to hear an echo? Echo! Woo! Uh, wow. Say echo. Echo! Whoa. That's so cool. Yeah, let's go way to the other side. Let's go way to the other side. Okay. You know, this is, uh, this is a, it's just a storm drain, basically. And, um, the cars are driving over us. We're, we're underneath the freeway. This is just like driving underneath a bridge, except you're really close to the roof. I don't know if y'all can see that. Look, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Go towards the light. Wow. You know, Bubba, when daddy was a little boy, he used to explore tunnels like this all the time. It was a lot of fun me and my friends whoa look at this look it's like a it's like a small marsh there's some cattails here you want me to grab you some cattails Bubba okay I'll show you these are cattails kids I think they have a more scientific name but we call them cattails 
I guess they look like cattails. I don't know. Somebody named them cattails. Look at that. You want to hold the cattail? Pretty sweet, huh? It looks like it's, it's kind of like a, a dandelion. You pull it off, and it has tons of little seeds. And you could throw it up in the air and watch it float away in the wind. Isn't that cool? And you can break yeah, it. Yeah, watch. Here. Let's get a bunch of it all broken up, and then we'll just toss it up in the wind. Mm-hmm. You ready? Watch that, kids. Whoa. It's Look at it all floating away. So cool. Let's all right. We're going to go find something else that's fun. We'll see you in a little bit. Wow, kids, we found some bird's nests that are here underneath this bridge. The entire bridge is completely solid with bird's nests. It's pretty cool. Mm. Have a look. See that? Those are bird nests. Mm -hmm. They're made by a special bird that gathers mud and it puts the mud, takes it here on the wall, and they build homes out of it. This is really incredible, kids. It's a very, very incredible thing that Daddy? they can do this. They figured out how to make their own homes. Not a lot of animals know how to build homes like this. Most animals just find holes in the ground so they just stay out in the open. These birds are really smart. They make their own nests out of mud. It's really cool. Out of mud? See that? There's some hay inside of there, some straw, so their babies can stay warm. They lay their eggs inside of these nests. Now, that whole other side of the bridge is lined with, look at all those nests. Wow. Let's do this, Daddy. Oh, what is that? What is it Oh say? my gosh, are those cars riding around in the gravel? Daddy. They you... look like they're buried. You wanna play with some cars? We're gonna play hardcore with cars. We'll see y'all later. Hey kids. Well, there's something that's kinda sad here that we're gonna show you guys. See that right there? Those are nests of birds, and all that right there, that people use rocks to knock them down. Now that's not nice. The people think it's fun to hit the bird's nest with, the, with rocks, yeah. but it's really not productive to do that. Did you know that Daddy used to do that sometimes when he was a little boy? Why? Why did I do that? Because <laughs> I was bored, and I wasn't thinking. But now, I know not to do that, because I care about the birds. I don't want them to their nest to go bad, right? Uh -huh. yeah. We try to be nice to nature, uh huh. unless it's trying to hurt us. If those are hurting us, then we just run away? Yes, you're right. We hit them. Yes, and if you have to, you can hit them. But the best thing to do is just run away. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Right, just get away from the birds if they don't, if they're being mean if to you. The birds are not nice and we hit them then they'll just run away yeah but we'll try not to hit them right uh-huh because that wouldn't be good if everybody just hit birds every day and every night that wouldn't be good you're right that wouldn't be good that would be terrible everyone would just be hitting birds all day <laughs> uh -huh. nobody would get anything done it would be like that movie the birds you never saw it but i'm sure some of the mom and dad's mommies and daddies saw birds all right, see y'all later. Yeah.